Okay. I'm here Hi. with Mimi Bissett. How do you, with Bissett? Yes, Bissett. Okay. Um, I saw you in Bonnie and Clyde and was blown away by your gorgeous voice. Thank you. Yeah. You want to talk about um, Bonnie and Clyde a little bit? Oh, I'd love to. Um, I could tell you how I got the job of mm -hmm. Bonnie and Clyde. Sure. Um, I'm friends with Jeff Calhoun. We had done the Best Little Warehouse in Texas mm -hmm. together many moons ago. And he was a dancer in the show. Phenomenal dancer. And uh, he wound up going into directing. And he, I auditioned for 9 to 5, which I didn't get. And then uh, I got a call and they said, do you want to be a part of the reading that they're doing because Mayor Winningham was the original mother and uh, she couldn't do it. But actually the first time I read, I was one of the beauty parlor girls and I stood in for the uh, governor, which was Leslie Becker's role. And so I did that and then they invited me back, but then to read for the part of the mother. And then I was invited after that to do the show in Florida and then they had me audition for the Broadway. So, okay, so there was a song that was cut from the show that yes. you had. Can you t talk about that? Yeah, it was a beautiful song called The Devil. And it was at the point, it was in Act Two, and mm -hmm. it was at the point where I knew from the town sheriff and the different people that were after Bonnie and Clyde, because at that point they were, they were uh, fugitives throughout the United States. It became like an... Uh, a project for the FBI and all of this kind of stuff and um, they said if they were to capture them that they would be ambushed and killed and so I knew at that point that I had to meet with Bonnie and convince her to come home otherwise she wouldn't die and so I met her in the forest and I think I'm going to meet her alone but it turns out that Clyde is with her and so it's a very uh, difficult scene, obviously, uh, mm -hmm. and I try to convince her to stay with me, but she decides to leave with him. Mm -hmm. And that's at that point. I The song is basically about me trying to understand what it was that it, she got to that point. It's a, how, why did the devil take my girl away? And I basically am saying, you know, we did everything. We gave her a wonderful life. She wasn't like that. She used to write poems, and uh, she was a sweet person. How did this happen? And then at the end of the song, by the end of the song, I feel really guilty because I feel basically that I've killed her. And it's a very emotional song, and many women, um, mothers, would come up to me after the show, and they would be in tears because they would say, you have no idea how that was my story, because no matter how hard I tried with my child, they, that's, they just went off and, you know, had their own life that was nothing having to do with the life, the way they were brought up. And uh, anyway, so. can you give us some? Is there any way to get some words from the song? Oh, do you remember gosh. any of them? Yeah, um, there must be something we done wrong. But I'm damned. But I'm damned if I know what. She never learned bad ways from us. Mm -hmm. uh, she kind of bad ways from us. Good ways was all she got. Something like that. It, it was. It was. Um, you know. Um, those kind of a things where we, we served her love every day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Very cool. Basically, yeah. Did you um, did you do any research about Bonnie and Clyde before you oh, took on yes. the ball? Oh yes. Um, yes, I did a lot of research. I, I read books. Um, um, I, and I think it was really important also because I, I did this show called Woody Guthrie's American Song, which oh. was right around the time of the Dust Bowl, which mm -hmm. is in the early 1930s, the time period. Uh, although we, we span in the show, it's also in the 1920s because in this show, opposed to the movie, the movie you just see them as they're starting to do their crime right. spree. This show, in Bonnie and Clyde, you get to um, see them as children mm -hmm. and why you understand why they did what they did is yes. not that it made it right but you did right. understand why they did what they did which I thought was a really fascinating mm -hmm. uh, element of the story I and agree. so it, it covers like 1920s um, to the 1930s 1934 is when they got ambushed and killed mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was really interesting my particular character had a very uh, more cushy background than some of the other characters mm -hmm. because my husband used to be a bricklayer and it opens, the show opens and it's his funeral, which and they never really said how he died. I just assumed it was a heart attack, um, mm -hmm. but we had a pretty good life compared to most everybody else, but then we lost everything once he died, and, and uh, Emma Parker is the part that I played, Bonnie's mm -hmm. mom, she didn't have uh, the means to continue in a, in a higher paying job like that. What she was was a seamstress, mm -hmm. and she moved in with her parents in mm -hmm. West Dallas. They left their nicer town of Rowena. And uh, 
So anyway, that's that had a lot to do. I think it informs the relationship that they have with each other, and that I all along when I see that Bonnie wants to have this wonderful life and this exciting life, and and I felt I, I can't give that to you. It still it hits a really strong yeah. nerve in me because I just felt like I wish I could give her that. You know, she had great dreams, and she's a very intelligent girl. Um, she was at the top of her class. She really? was a good actress. Uh, was a good mm -hmm. singer. And so she had dreams of being like, you know, actually a musical Movie theater star. performer. So it's interesting that the show uh, made it to Broadway, and in, in many ways, she got her dream. <laughs> right. Today. Right. It's too bad. To she it's was too alive. bad that she, you know, unfortunately, that they took the crimes from me. They, mm -hmm. they had to do that because. Yes, and, and as it's portrayed in the show, it reminded me of Thelma and Louise, because mm -hmm. here they innocently think, you know, oh, I'm going to do well, we'll have a better life, and then it leads to, you know, one incident that then somebody gets killed, and then they become fugitives, and then it, it just snowballs until it's out of control and there's no way of turning back, and uh, it's an interesting study, uh, yeah. character study Absolutely. in that way. And also uh, Clyde's experience in jail, mm -hmm. you know, really what right. he had to deal with there.